I'm Will, and welcome back to the Bald Book Geek. Um, this is a discussion video on The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. The long-awaited sequel to The Handmaid's Tale, which is a true classic. And I'm sure that we can agree that when it comes to modern dystopia, especially dystopia as powerful, as, it, as, as impactful as it is, I think The Handmaid's Tale is pretty much up there. So, let's talk about it. So, The Testament picks up 15 years later, and it gives you an insight into the changing world that's happening. You have two women, two young women, I should say, and they're paralleling stories in completely different backgrounds, completely different upbringings. And why I don't want to go into the story too much, because spoilers, new book, you know, we don't need that. What I will say is if you have read Handmaid's Tale, if you're a fan of Margaret Atwood or love dystopia, do check out this book. Testaments is a phenomenal read, and I'm, I've been blown away by it. And it's very rare a book lives up to the hype for me. The narrative is slightly different, and you suddenly the ending and a few things are explained, but it is a phenomenal book. It's strange because it's reflecting a lot of what goes on now. We live in a world of anti-intelligentism. We live in a world that is almost falling into a dystopia, be it Brexit, be it Boris Johnson, be it Donald, you know, idiots in power that have no clue. This book really does echo what's going on, much like The Handmaid's Tale echoed a lot of what was happening when it was written in the 80s, and still echoes way too much today. This echoes that. I feel like people will unfairly judge this book, partly because there's been a lot of accusations of her cashing in on the success of the TV series. Why I can kind of see why, I don't think it was that blunt. Margaret Atwood doesn't need to cash in on a TV series. She's a very well-respected writer who doesn't need that. It just felt like the right time. I think the world we live in now has become almost that. We, we are still fighting for things that we shouldn't be fighting for in the 21st century, especially in 2019, be it gay rights, be it women's rights. Everything that's going on right now, just look at the news and you realise that the world is fundamentally broken. I don't know if it's fixable. This book hits so many chords of what's going on, it, it's almost terrifying. What makes it worse, and I've said this in my previous video, my video about The Handmaid's Tale, is that, for me, you could see this happening. I've read a lot of dystopia. Children of Men is one of my favourite books, Handmaid's Tale. Like, Not only do I think that books like this are important, I feel like we, there's so much we need to talk about, and if we can do it through literature, why not? I think in this age, there are many battles that we are yet to win, and many battles we may never win. But, when you read books that echo what you could see happening, I mean, The Handmaid's Tale, Testaments, Vox, and so on, you could... I mean, this is happening in some Middle Eastern countries. This is quite frightening. I mean, you suddenly realise, and I, I will point this out and probably cause controversy, is that extremists can be the guy next door with a cross on his door. You know, it's just... It, the world is not black and white, and that's what I love about the Testaments, and and Atwood's writing in general, she never portrays things as black and white. It's never that simple. So, you know, maybe, I think, when it comes to books, when it comes to what's going on, when it comes to the world, sit down and read this. Sit down and read The Handmaid's Tale. Sit down and read these great dystopias, uh, these great adult dystopias, and realise that what we are walking into and how we are doing it. Blind lead the blind, the stupid lead the dumb, idiots in power, getting involved in things that maybe are not the best idea. You know, you look at some world leaders and think, how did you get there? You know, anyway, read the Testaments, read this book, uh, tell me what you think in the comments, it'll be interesting to find out, and I will talk to you later.
tái